Hello, Zesters and VoIP gurus, enthusiasts, and uh, all around users. Uh, today's video, I'm gonna get into the X Lite upgrade. Um, I don't know what, what to say actually. Um, you know, if you're upgrading X Lite recently in February 2020, you're gonna see here a pop up dialog. Uh, explaining that X Lite is expired and it wants you to upgrade to the fully loaded Bria soft phone. Um, interestingly, they don't really let you know that it's Bria Solo here, but it's the new soft phone Bria Solo. <clears throat> this is a still going to be a free version of Bria Solo um, with a upgradable version with a little bit more features. Um, so what does this mean? What's different? What's changed? We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this right now. Uh, so what's happening right now? Uh, let's start here. This is the, the page it's gonna open up to. And of course it's sort of a farewell message here to uh, Bria, um, or rather x Light. Uh, Bria being their older um, commercial version which is now Bria Teams. Uh, so, what you can do is, uh, if you want, you can keep X Lite. There's one more update that they're going to be giving you before the uh, EOL or end of life. Uh, what's unclear here is if they're going to allow you to keep that version indefinitely, or if they're going to force you to upgrade after a certain point in time with this last version of X Lite. Um, in order to do this, uh, you're going to have to fill out this form, and you know, I assume they're going to use that information to try to upgrade you to Bria Solo at a later date. So again, unclear if you're going to be able to keep that version, that uh, this last update that you're able to get, or if at some point you're going to be forced to upgrade. Uh, my uh, take on that is, is uh, I'm leaning towards you're going to have an upgrade path uh, pushed out onto you at a certain point, which not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it looks like it's going to be sort of a, a great little soft phone. So what's changed, what's different, and what are we looking at here? So very briefly, in the last two years, uh, Counterpath's been um, updating their software, getting rid of uh, Bria um, 5 and things like that, and they've been consolidating into this cloud-based uh, soft phone as a service type of application. I mean, it's not cloud-based, it's sort of hybrid. You are downloading the soft phone onto your devices, of course. Uh, but what they've allowed you to do is use them as a central server so you can do things like collaboration, um, you know, sharing messaging, and more, most importantly and most interestingly is uh, provisioning which, you know, provisioning's been really just just a huge hassle in the VoIP industry and trying to uh, get, you know, some sort of central provisioning server which is just so convoluted and cumbersome. There are some people uh, doing it like Phonism, uh, now uh, right place at the right time, and then with soft phone solutions, this really makes administration a lot easier. And uh, we're trying to partner up as an ITSP, you know, for a little while here with Counterpath and try to get ourselves, uh, you know, pre provisioned so we can offer that this service to our customers and get them set up as soon as possible. Um, so, some of the subtle differences between X Lite and Zoiper was the fact that, uh, you know, one of the benefits that Zoiper actually has, being the free base one, is they have TLS included uh, as a feature. They don't have the HD G722 codec, whereas X Lite did. Uh, looks like with Solo, free version at least, we are going to be losing the HD G722 codec. Now, you're going to have to go to the upgraded $3 a month plan, for Bria Solo. Um, you know, non-free, call it premium, pro, whatever you want to, are going to give us uh, the HG G722 codec. Now, we also lost video support, um, which again is going to be a paid feature now. So, if that's something that you use, you're going to have to dig around for an alternative or use that final x Light upgrade and see if you can keep hold on to that uh, for as long as possible. Now, what happened now with Bria Teams, this was Bria X, and they was uh, they had this set up at BriaX.com. They've come full circle and consolidated it uh, back at Counterpath.com, but not before they bought the domain SoftPhone.com. was a surprising move. I think that was around last year, and they had housed Bria X over at SoftPhone.com, and 
now it's full circle back over here and that gives you a little bit more premium features I played around with that and again um, you know the provisioning was was great you can also do things like messaging uh, you can do video file sharing um, you know within your organization and you can also do screen sharing so that's something cool about Bria teams I'm seeing some of those features over here at uh, Bria solo but uh, this isn't really meant for um, collaborating with multiple team members um, so you can see some subtle differences in the features range here interesting they've provided a desktop API now um, <laughs> advertising panel uh, push services are here any call control features are going to be in the paid versions click to call so this is a hassle you know if you're trying to click tell links in the browser and so on uh, the difference here is that Windows uh, 10 will only unfortunately they did some updates it was a year or two years ago where you can't really specify your own application for certain things if it's not a um, installable uh, application so so what a lot of these soft phones are is they're lightweight portable so um, um, they're they're a portable executable rather than an installable if that kind of resonates and so if it's not an installable Windows will not let you um, associate certain links and actions uh, with an application that being the tell link here specifically so I assume this is a lightweight portable executable versus uh, an installable Windows um, application but it's a nice feature to have that in either case and I see what they're doing here uh, call history sync you know what I'm not sure what the call history is gonna look like here or where it's syncing uh, seems like a cloud-based application um, Google contacts Apple contacts and so on not a big fan myself I, I tend not to use um, Google for for contacts yes I do have an Android and, and uh, a pixel specifically that it, I do sync, but I like to keep my contacts really separate, you know, my personal contacts from my business. I, I know there's a lot of applications this will this will work fine, and if you're using an API to to house maybe your contacts with uh, G Suite, that's a whole different story. But you know, this is made for business purposes, <clears throat> so that's a really nice feature if you need it. Security, you know, security is one of those premium features in life. You want to be secure, you got to pay to play. Um, and uh, of course you need a, a supported provider as well like us at Narango we do offer uh, TLS SRTP shameless plug nevertheless um, we can help you out with that uh, what else do we got provisioning everyone's got provisioning we've got a Salesforce integration it looks like it's a you know it's interesting here because it does state that it's an optional upgraded service but the extra charges will apply here so what about this I don't know was it included for free not too 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 sure I'm not sure anyone really uh, running solo is using Salesforce maybe you are maybe you're not um, and of course ITSP pre-provisioning um, with all the ITSP uh, settings rare and ready to go that's gonna be an upgraded feature as well so what I'm going to do in the interest of creating content here is I'm going to download, obviously, Bria Solo. Now you've got a 30-day trial here of the premium version of the $3 a month version, and you are able to downgrade to the free version of Bria Solo after the trial. So it'll ask you to create an account and, and you set up your trial. There's no credit card needed. You just go ahead and create your account. I've already done that ahead of time. Uh, so I'm skipped right into the dashboard here. Um, <clears throat> I'm sort of really actually seeing this for the first time. Uh, voice and video, things like that. Uh, this is a little bit different than what I was used to seeing um, with uh, Bria X. And until we get approved as an ITSP, we're unfortunately going to have to go ahead and set this up manually. Okay, just skipped ahead a little bit here so I could uh, get my credentials in. So provisioning, uh, here we go. So I've got most of my information in here. Uh, next tab, server settings. <clears throat> so we're going to need, in my case, a proxy <clears throat> I'm gonna do TLS oh 
voicemail number. Let's see how that works. Star 98. We'll leave this on automatic. Custom DNS. You know what? I like to go with a safe, sort of private uh, situation here. Let me just make sure my soft phone is set up for TLS SRTP. Yep, perfect. Dial plan, not necessary. Uh, that's kind of cool though, you can do your own dial plan. Uh, regex and some prefixes and so on. If you're not sure you're required for your service, leave this option on check. Contact your IP requires a different SIP username on each device for each user. Ah, this is a really cool feature because oftentimes you cannot use the same um, credentials on multiple devices because you lose track of where the person is. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and see what the... Ah, oh, okay. So now I can actually add a device here. So I'm going to hit save and close. Cool. Alright. Um, settings and preferences. DTMF, that's cool, no problem. Audio. Yeah, let's let's change this. Video, so we've got HD video, 264 VP8. I'm not gonna use VP8. I'm not gonna use Opus. 729 compressed codec. ULA North America, Europe. We're gonna go HD. HD all the way. So it's desktop. Now this is mobile Wi-Fi. Same thing. I'm on Wi-Fi. I'm not too concerned. You know what? Let's keep the ability to go a little bit lower bandwidth if we need to. I guess that's a priority list. You know, you're gonna want to use G729 if you're in a <clears throat> if you've got low bandwidth available to your plan or you're somewhere with a crappy connection. Definitely go with that. mobile cellular so again not too worried about um, about compressed I don't want compressed 729 and that's cool yeah. and the application so what we got Mac Windows iOS Android okay system requirements that's pretty cool. I mean, it's a it's a nice onboarding process. Really easy, simple, clean. Now let's just go with that. So it's 94 and a half megabytes. That's a big boy. I assume it's going to be, uh, you know, fairly uh, rich in terms of the graphics. Okay, so I had a little bit of issue downloading on Chrome. I just didn't want to download the soft phone. Uh, I did manage to get it without any issue from Firefox. So uh, if that happens to you for some weird, uh, strange reason, then uh, take a look at Firefox or another browser here. Could be and hopefully it's just me. Shortcut, create a quick launch, yada yada. Okay, hopefully I've got the right password now. <clears throat> okay, perfect. And here we go. Alright, so similar to uh, to X Lite, um, pretty much a same familiar interface. Now Looks like we are registered. Uh, some some subtle changes here. Okay. We've got some nice call blocking features here. Anonymous. We've got a blacklist here, black block anonymous and uh, no caller ID. That's cool. Try to weed out spam if you're getting calls directly uh, here. We've got Outlook integration. Set Bree as your default soft phone. Okay. So we can do.
do that as well. A whole lot there. Again, account settings. So this is all locked it locked down here. Um, send outbound via domain. So this I'm gonna need possibly. I do have the domain here. Uh, voicemail, this is all locked down because of provisioning. We've got our custom DNS. Transport, you know, again, all locked down for the provisioning server. It's kind of a nice feature, especially if you want to lock users. Okay, the Plantronics integration, history, and so on. So let's go ahead and make a test call. Um, let's start with that one click voicemail. Call is encrypted. I am hearing the audio. I'm hearing the voicemail settings here. A little crackle here, which we could maybe clear up, but HD codec. Well, that's cool. We've got a packet capture capability for reporting purposes. I'm getting a bit of crackling. That might be because I'm using the audio already for recording this video, but it's definitely not because of my server. Um, I'll troubleshoot that after. But again, the call's encrypted. You know, good network performance. Everything seems relatively smooth. So if I go ahead and just dial this, Expect to see that there and this here as well. Okay, uh, it seems relatively simple. Now, if I go to, I want to install the one click action for the tell link, I should be able to do that here. So, I'll make a call from, ah, uh, you can do either my cell phone, which is pretty cool. A nice Chrome feature where I can pick an app. So Bria, so again it's an installable so that it's available. Set that up and away she goes. You can hear the audio, it's HD, uh, you know that's hitting our IVR and just, you know other, other than that it sounds good. Um, all in all, uh, familiar interface looks good. Um, I'm not going to try any of the features. I just wanted to give you the gist of what's happening here with X Lite Free going to the Bria Solo. So I look forward to uh, features, testing some of the integrations. Maybe we'll follow up on that and see uh, what type of integrations they alluded to um, that we can use and how we can uh, leverage them to make our workflows easier. So if you have any comments, uh, suggestions, you know, anything like that that you want to share, feel free to leave comments down below. Thanks for joining me and I'll catch you in the next one.